some some uh, is the Hawks. I think is what we're gonna. Yeah. Pick. So I'm curious. You can start on this one. What are your thoughts on the Atlanta Hawks? Yeah. So they got out to the really fast start, right? They were looking really good, looking like they could maybe be one of those top six seeds in the playoffs. And there's been some news with Trey Young and players want him to being players wanting the coaching staff and front office to hold them accountable for lackluster shot selection, defense, and all that. Um, and he didn't take it well at all. Um, he, he was kind of pissed at that. And the last few games, they've kind of fallen off. They're under 500 now. He hasn't played his best. And it's it kind of you know makes you think, like, whose side should they go on? Should they go on with their – maybe developing star or should they go on with the team and like hold him accountable? And I would say like, go with the team on this one. You have to have accountability. I think we saw that with the Rockets. We've seen that with other teams and as good as a superstar is, and I don't even think he is necessarily that yet, but he could be, you do need to hold them accountable. Um, What are your thoughts on the matter? I totally agree with you. And I think, um, one thing that he really needs to own up is, on is his defense is horrendous. I understand he's very small. That is just like – it's hard for him to play defense with his size. Mm-hmm. But I watched the Hawks last game against the Blazers, and there were a lot of plays where he just wasn't putting all of his effort into the defensive end of the ball. And I can I can understand that he's going to put more uh, energy on the offensive side yeah. of the ball. That's where he's more gifted and more talented. But – if he if he goes like half like uh, half speed or or half energy on on defense, and I'm his some of his teammates, I'm gonna call him out. Like yeah. Yeah, it's totally fair. I think one of the guys who did it was John Collins. Yeah, he was the main person to do I that. Totally warranted. Um, and honestly, I'm I'm pretty down on Trey Young after watching some of these Hawks games. I think he has so much to offer on offense, but he also lets guys who aren't very good offensive players kind of bully him on defense yeah. right? blow by him they can post him up the Blazers yeah. would send guys like Gary Trent Jr. was getting his own I think I think Gary Trent Jr. would see Trey Young on him in that game and was just seeing barbecue chicken is all I gotta say <laughs> it was bad Trey Young's defense is is next is I think he's the worst defensive player in the league he's still a very fun guy to watch in offense this team is a very fun team to watch but he, he should be more accountable is the way I see it. Yeah. And, yeah, I think his main comparison has been Curry, right? And we know Curry was never the best defender, pretty decent off ball, but the Warriors, they would just basically just try do their best to hide him. Um, and they had, you know, they had Draymond, they had Clay, KD for a bit, Igudala. So they had dudes that were plus defenders and good at other stuff, and they, you know, they could hide him pretty decently well. And then he'd make up for it on the offense end, obviously being the best shooter ever. The thing with Trey Young is his shot selection is really just not all that great. And, you know, he's kind of like the modern age, like shot chucker player where you see him at the park and he definitely is skillful, right? Like there's no denying that, but he just doesn't use that to benefit the team, takes poor shots, doesn't play defense. The type of guy you just really don't want to be on a team with. Um, so yeah, I'm with you like John Collins. I mean, they should have called him out earlier probably. Um, but yeah, that's, it's just such a bad look and they're out of the playoff picture now. It's, it's early in the year, you know, they have obviously time to recover and get better, but they're three and seven in their last 10. They've fallen to earth a little bit after that really hot start. Um, and then I guess that begs the question, like, can a team win with Trey Young as the main player? Yeah, my answer to that question is right, right now, current Trey Young, they can win, but against contenders, no. They're, they're just not going to be a contender. But one thing I'm curious about is um, how they use Trey Young's minutes because I think he obviously can he can have an offensive spark at any time. But they also – their backup is Rondo this year, who is a veteran mm-hmm. who can play pretty good defense too. So I'm I'm very curious how they u- utilize him in the lineup, and if Trey Young's kind of bumming it up and and not being good on both sides of the ball, I think they should get Rondo involved because they have scores around Trey Young. They got they got Bogdanovich in free agency, mm-hmm. uh, Cam Reddish, DeAndre Hunter's coming into his own, John Collins, Capella. They got guys if they get the ball, they can score, and they don't really need Trey Young essentially shot chucking. 
Um, so I'm very curious how they utilize Rondo. What do you do? You think Rondo could could be a spark? Um, mm. What are your thoughts on that, Blake? No, he's a pretty good playmaker. But if they want to have like an actual offense, I don't think he could be a guy that's that great of a distributor. And it's not, you know, I love I love Rondo. Um, I think he's awesome. I just think he's past the point where he can actually run an offense. I think they'll need Young. And yeah, to your point, the, so the guy's only 22. We might be being hype. We may be hypercritical as of now, due to just the success of other players, right? But yeah, his style just the style they play is not really like good for winning games. And if that's what your future's looking like, it's going to be tough for them to actually like build around him because they're going to need a second and third piece. Is that on the roster now? Maybe. I, Maybe someone could develop to be that. It it doesn't look like they have anyone that's actually gonna you know develop to be a a number two option on a winning team. Uh, so maybe Trey Young will have to be that and like take the Kyrie route where he's not the best player, but he's the second best guy and he's that offensive juggernaut that they need him to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I totally agree on that. Yep, and 